Thanks. Four broken arm for Eli Temple, and there it is. From the first quarter. And the young man who's made a terrific impact in his first five and a bit games of AFL will be a spectator for a few weeks to come. So the Lions leading by just over three goals. Stephen scooped it out, and they're away the Saints. Hickey seemed unsure. He gave it back to a man who was under pressure. Lenny Hayes puts a wrap on Robertson. Saunders, it's really greasy now. A bit lucky again there, the Saints sliding in at the ball. It looked uh, as yeah, if that should have gone the other way, but at Maybe. that uh, opening centre bounce. You've got to find something here now, the Saints. You've got to get on the board early, get the pressure, get the belief running, because the Lions, they are as hungry as they could be. Hayes, is he the man? It wasn't pretty, and oh. unfortunately hits the post. Sides are always much hungry when they haven't won a game. Here's the slide from Stevens. Yeah, it should have been a free kick against. Yeah, it should have been Ace's call. It's a welfare of the safety of the player standing over the ball. High ball to half back, revolt. Now well, he played for it and got it. So, a smart play by Pierce Hanley. Well, they've got them where they want them, Spud. They've got uh, the Saints on the ropes. Yep. If they can get the first one, they might just find they fold a little bit mentally. They've come in a little bit uh, unders as far as the mental preparation. They weren't as intense early in the piece. But you've still got to get the scoreboard pressure ticking over. Yeah, that wasn't a great kick because Trent West was on the boundary line. He's kicked to his direct opponent in Hickey. So he should have looked for, the, for his taller ruckman on the boundary line. Well, Tanya had Dempster well positioned. He, oh, it's a dangerous handball over to Gear. He has to react quickly. Got around Cutler. Then he's claimed. Oh, perfect tackle. Best he could do is get a knee to the ball Dan there. Zorko again. Yep. That's, that's his 11th tackle, Dane Zorko. It's been great. Yeah, he's searching for Jonathan Brown. He's found him, but uh, so too did Gwilt. Green got crunched. Montagna on that very last line. Jones wore a couple and then handball to the good of Stephen. Decides to keep it in for Stanley. He had some handball options. He, he waited. Good it. running, Stephen. Yeah, it was good running from Stephen. I think Lepich needs to, Justin Lepich needs to just have a look at what's happening with Jack Stevens because if they are to win, he's going to be one of the driving forces. No tall targets, really. Now there is. For Stanley, and that's going to be a free. The advantage yeah, paid. Nunes over the top. Billings, he'll kick it. Now the Saints are coming. That's what they need. They need to get a score on the board nice and early, St Kilda, to get their running game going. You're right with Stephen, Jared. He's been busy yep. since half time. Just not sure. Jed's been playing really well, but just he went up to bar too early. Just misread it, unfortunately. As soon as the ball spilled over the back, when you've got two defenders there, that should be going out of bounds for a boundary throw in. And there's always a free kick. It was really good running there. And Jack Billings, Billings there. You can see <laughs> Leopard not overly happy with the ball spilling over the back. Well, they haven't won all year, the Lions, and everyone knows that, so the pressure will mount if the Saints can hit the scoreboard. Jack Billings there puts the first one, the vital first one of the last. Now, they are within a couple of goals, which is close as they've been since the second quarter, and now they've got a free one out of the middle. Yeah, that first one, absolutely pivotal, and Justin Lepage knew it. It was a fundamental error from an experienced backman. Wandering ball deep, and they circle around here, swarming the Saints. Wrapping up Mays, and it was Savage laying the tackle. So now they've got to attack, Spud. We know they've got uh, half their side under 50 games, lots of inexperience. Yep. They've got to find a way to attack this footy. Hickey also trying to do that for the Saints. They need to score the Brisbane Lions. They're not going to be able to hold the Saints out. Plenty of voice out there from the captain. Well done, West. Got it down to Red, and it's not out of there yet. Dunstan. And Taylor both sliding in these greasy conditions. Waging war in there. Ray Quilt. Clever Good little hands. handball. Opened it up for Ross initially. The new yeah, kick. Delaney's popped up at the right time. He's got Hickey pushing long to the square with Rewalt. Didn't like anything that was on offer. We had a one on one long. In these conditions, I'll just get the ball in. You can see the Brisbane line, the young defence is under oh. pressure. Well, particularly when you go to a one on one there, and if 
could almost be intercepted. Yeah. He's he can still He's go using his now. speed now. Now Same Rebo. Position. Great move from the skipper. And well executed by Reese Stanley. Great kick it was. The Bonds working well in tandem there for the Saints. That was a perfect a, kick. Not an uh, easy mark, Spud, to control as well. That ball would be pretty greasy, and it was coming in at a rapid rate of knots. That certainly was. The uncontested possession at the start of this quarter, 23 to 1. That's got, killed his favour. Yeah, they haven't got near it, uh, the Brisbane Lions. If this goes through, then all of a sudden the uh, pressure will mount even further. And through it goes with great authority and conviction. Saints back within six. Yeah, it's a big, big the skipper, he's had a quiet night, but here's, here's where a start for Brisbane Lions. Trent West is out, out wide. Now the ball's gone to Hickey. There's West on the left of screen, just on the left of the screen. Yep. The kick to Hickey, they get their first goal. And look at the pass here, you called it the perfect searing pass. So great connection there between Stanley and Rewalt. Really good connection. Just point where you want it. Look where he is, kick to where he'll be, and that's where he was. Perfect. We've got a real contest now at Westpac Stadium in Wellington. Nick Revolt puts through the second goal of the quarter for the Saints. They're only six behind. And there's a, just a little bit of a missed handball. He went again to Dunstan. Again, he couldn't find his target. Jack Stevens again, the star of this quarter, four disposals. Well, Cutler's on him, Spud, and Cutler needs to pay him a lot more respect than he is. He's about four metres off him at the present yeah. time. There and there's Jack. Yeah. And he's not good enough. Straight up and under might get his own kick. And it's over and out. Yeah, when you play on a goal like Stevens who had a quiet first half, you need to put the finger in the back. Back down to Barry Hall. Yeah, well, the Saints are starting to use their assets now. Reece Stanley's he's obviously quick and got a lot of agility. We've seen on that last passage of play, that's exactly what they use. We've also seen a block on for Nick Rewalt, which is exactly what you need when you're getting uh, numbers two or three up at a time. You're getting a few blocks to help Nick Rewalt out. That all helps. Opens up for Cutler. Good instinctive hands from the Lions. They've got their turn to go for Jonathan Brown knows where they are. Yes, oh, he what does. a goal. What about that for the veteran? Well, that time was well read by uh, everybody for the Brisbane Lions. In particular, Cutler, he turned the tables on him. He's playing yep. a sweeping role at the stoppage, and he gets on the end of that really instinctive handball. And you can see this time Jack Stephen doesn't pay him any credit. A really good contest there from Jonathan Brown. But the third quarter, he got the quick low handball. He learned from that greasy ball, play the percentages, put it on your boot, get it over the goal umpire's hat. They desperately needed that, the Brisbane Lions. He all comes down to that stoppage. It was a really well thought uh, out stoppage, well executed by the Lions. Hickey got the tap. Lightning stuff for Montagna, but it's looked like it was going to go Brisbane's way. Yeah, in the back of the end. It's Hayes that takes that advantage. Goes for Revolt. Now the chase is on. Savage, superior pace on Adcock. And the Brisbane skipper got it safely over the lines. Got a boundary throw in. They're inside their 50 here. Pressing again. Revolt with a double handed down. Rockcliffe to the voice of Ace, who's been terrific. West is given the freedom Tumbler. of a couple of steps. The half forward Saints have to win this ball. Well done by Quill. Just edged merit out of it. He knew that uh, he was getting good cover by Dempster. And Dempster got it over to New. Montagna so, let's fly. Montagna, the height is with Clark, but the experience and the skill with Lee Montagna. Uh, beautiful forward entry it puts any defender under pressure and Montagna as we know is not a contested mark player but just used the drop zone of the ball magnificently well started at this uh, with this bump Quilt just takes him out he doesn't deck him doesn't give a free kick away just takes his space Dempster gets the ball long kick in and then a really smart long kick to Lee Montagna so here he is no goal is easy tonight but Lee Montagna makes it look easy. Now, well called, Joe. Just the defensive pressure there. Lee Montagna, again, he's had a terrific night. He was the one that kept him in the game early, Lee. He set at the 29 disposals. Really good long long kick there from Jack Nunes. Puts any defender under pressure. And when you have to search for the ball and you direct the opponent, yeah. 
and you start searching, it means your direct opponent's got the ascendancy, and that's a really good contested mark from Lee. All right, what does Justin Lepic do now, boys? Well, the Brisbane Lions just need to get their hands on the ball, Hutto. It's been all St Kilda. You have a look at the, the clearances, 5-2 to two, St Kilda's favour. Contested possessions, 14-7. to seven. He just got to back his young team in to win some ball. Stanley takes his turn in the ruck. He guided it down well to Montagna. Off to Hayes. The Saints are rolling again. Montagna's oh, kick. Well, Hayes' kick for Rewald. That was all the old bikes in. It was, Hayes to Montagna to Rewald. Some familiar names there for the Saints. There's, well, Nick decided I think he wasn't going to mark it. And felt a little bit of pressure behind. Went with it. The key here is get it in, but don't let it out quickly. because. And oh. Stanley, with a powerful effort in the air, takes the mark. He looks like he's arrived, Rhys Stanley. Not before time, as far as the St Kilda fans are concerned. Perhaps had one of his best games last week, and tonight his second half has been outstanding. I just, want, just wonder what uh, Aaron Hamill and Alan Richardson said to Rhys Stanley at halftime. Whatever it said, it was just, you're good enough. Back yourself in. His second half, that... You, you thought in the first half, well, he's just going to go through one of those games. Yep. But he's found a way. Lifted. He's found a way to lift his teammates. And this to level the score here in Wellington. The Lions have been front since early in the game. But Reece Stanley puts it through. And the Saints are inspired. And they're level. And this game has come to life. Let's get down to Barry Hall. Well, as I said at three quarter time, boys, he becomes the most uh, dangerous forward now. He, he, he's the most important forward for the Secure Footy Club. He needs to make the defenders of Brisbane Lions most accountable, and he's done that. We've seen him in the last quarter. He's been fantastic. He's, he's got to make him accountable, his opponent, to get off the rebound. It all helps each other. Well, six inside fifties for St Kilda. Four goals, one. They've done it with the big blokes now, mainly up the ground. That time they had uh, time to get Stanley back, but that's a nice little pop to the space and a free kick. Montagna has lifted really oh, yes. heavily in this uh, last five minutes. Him and Lenny Hayes have been dominant through the middle. Rewald's come to the party. And the Wellington crowd enjoying this game, which has really opened up. Oh, it's still there. Montagna had a run. It was dense to wide, but they're going down the middle. Hayes is going to have to fly here. He couldn't really get into any position to do that. And that's a terrific fist. He'd be very excited by that. But look, Spoke, but it doesn't quite nope. go out. Dempster. Oh, Dempster, no. He's kicked a goal tonight. He thought he could kick another, but he was wrong. Down on the floor. Where's the free kick here to Montagna? Robertson's on him. Oh, yeah, it was a push. There was a lot in it, but there was enough push there to the umpire saw that it impeded his run at the ball. See a frustrated Jonathan Brown coming right up the ground. The ball over and out. Four goals they've slammed on the Saints in 13 minutes in this last term. Well, this is where they're winning it. St Kilda, seven clearances to two. Montagna, three. Stevens, two. Five between them. Oh, they need the uh, blokes who were firing early. That was a flick too, but uh, here goes Stevens again. They'll go direct. Again, with great authority, the Saints. It's going to be Adcock defending grimly right down there defense. with Tolkienhorn. That's a terrific sport. Man, another year in the gym and uh, those skinny arms. I think it was Billings, was it? Yeah, Jack. Jack Billings. He'll get him further out of space and he'll take a chest mark. Throw in. Flipped away by Stanley. Down to Robertson. Out the back ace. Pressure on every kick and handball at the moment here in Wellington. And every mark. Paparone takes it. Timely one for the Lions at halfback. The margin, well, there's no margin. Scores are level, and we've gone 14 minutes in this last quarter. Not, not a great that, kick. No, there's a big difference, though, Hutto. I, 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 I know it wasn't a great kick. There's a lot of players there in the forward 50, but St Kilda are blocking the centre corridor better in the second half. From and they're the winning the uh, ball out of these stoppages as well. Much better. Their Brisbane Lions have got one goal from their only win at a stoppage. So it becomes pivotal. Neutral ball now. Both uh, ends of the ground. Got some space in them. Both got players in them, which is unusual. And it's those mistakes that kill you. Jack Redden filthy on the call. Let's have a look. He's got him. No, there's nothing in that. Brushed him. That's, not a, that's not a free kick. So Montagna assesses it all. Let's push forward. Big Bruce push forward. 
Billings just released the handball. Saunders went to ground. And then Cut Pierce the Hanley on. He is on, and he's marked it. He's trotting forward now. Down for Brown. Delaney engaged. Didn't get. Oh, he did give away the free. I thought the contact was a little bit early. They normally look after defenders. Just, just see whether the ball was within five metres. Let's have a look. Oh, it was high too. Yeah, the, the left hand on the top as well. He could have had the same result by not being over aggressive because the ball was always flowing high. He just had the body a little bit subtly. Yeah. But just a bit too aggressive there. Crowd really coming to life here in Wellington. Well, oh, take is very, very sure, best. Surely not for Probably now. hits the deck. They've got uh, West down there, yeah. so it's the little fellas. It's the it's likes of Green. Merritt there as well. Taylor's another little nippy goal snake. Just want to really pop it to the top of the square. Yeah, you never want to ride off Jonathan Brown. He decides to have a crack. <laughs> He's kicked it out on the full. Scores remain dead set level. I just think at this stage of the game, the percentage play was 15 metres out. You had West there oh. and Merritt. Well weighted. Nunes hesitated. Zorko, he did well. Goes long to the wing. Stanley's got to go. He's in good marking form now. Perhaps could have drawn a free. Could have been one high oh, on Ace. Umpire waved it all on. Merritt. Redden kicks it to the square. They've got the extra body down there. Did they touch it? That's a goal. Come on, come on. Have some room, please. Montana's playing with the goal. I'd just like to check and see if it was touch. Score review. Well, he's called a goal. If I'm it's inconclusive, it'll goal. be a goal. We just want to check whether the ball was actually touched. Oh, it looks like Brown's touched it, if anyone has. Yep. I think Brown's touched it. Yep, his finger goes back. Whether the ball made it go back or not, is it already bent? Let's have a look. This angle here is better, Hutto. You just watch his left hand, right hand, sorry. Ooh. Well, you have to say, it probably, he probably touched it, but it's probably enough. There's a fingernail in it. Yeah, umpire's call. Goal. So it's a goal. Yeah, review completed, umpire's call. Well, it, it's a goal. It's inconclusive. You couldn't categorically say that Jonathan Brown touched it. You'd have to, if, if you're the goal umpire, if you heard it, you would say, well, it's probably touched. And if you didn't hear anything, the goal umpire, I think he's done the, the correct decision there because you'd, you'd hear the slippery ball come off the fingers. Well, it shouldn't have been a shot anyway. I mean, they had this one covered. It was a uh, missed opportunity by Reece Stanley. The tackle was there. Nice, smart handball over the top. And then they had the shorts. It was a two-on-one situation. This should have been better done. It was a great effort by Jonathan Brown to actually get Montaigne off, uh, off the line. What about the, the second half of uh, James Ace? Yeah. It's been super. He certainly looks at home in senior football at the highest level. Robertson took an age to get that moving. There's some tight bodies out there. Thrusting himself forward with Zorko. You could see Stevens kick. It was touch. Opportunity for Seb Ross, perhaps. A fumble from Patful. Difficult for everyone to try and contain the footy. Gardner with exuberance. Let's not pay the initial free, so now he's going to oh. be in trouble holding the ball. He had prior opportunity. It was a terrific tackle, aggressive tackle. That's quick hands. No, quick hands. I mean, a prior opportunity is fine, but he was taken high. And you've got to protect the bloke going for the ball. Gardner up to the wing. Hickey with the spoil, did the right thing. Robertson finding it hard to make his arms and legs work the way he wants them at the moment. Good pressure. Well, it's pretty pro St Kilda fan base here. Here's the high tackle. The first one was high, and then that one was really high. Yeah. That wasn't the view the umpire had. But no, he must have been blocked because he would have been paid. They're paying uh, plenty of free kicks tonight. Over the oh, back. Over the back. Billings again. Oh. Oh. The dribble kick. Mm. We know won't be too happy with that. When, will, when will they learn, oh, Spud? Jason Dunsell, you just, you just run in and kick it and drop punt over the goal umpire's head. I know it was in quick motion. We had time to steady. Speechless. Especially a greasy ball. Speechless, but talented kid. Hits targets whenever he wants. Drop punt. Hit the goal umpire on the top of the head. They go back to square. Oh, that's an outstanding mark. Trent West. Higher than the rest. has come up a little lame, I think. 
He's all right now. But they feel as if... They look as if they believe they can win this again, Brisbane. They were just uh, sitting back on their laurels and just allowing the Saints to do what they wanted. Yeah, that doesn't yes. help. Making just too many little fundamental yeah. errors. They're keeping the Saints in this. Dunstan to Stephen. And that's a Great powerful kick. kick. And Ka oh, Curran's got himself loose, but he oh, basically sconned himself. Oh, the ball moved a lot through the air, though. It looked good. It was a real float up. There's nothing he could do with that. It was like a slips catch in the end with a yeah. slippery share it. So West again finds himself with a footy at half back. Up onto the wing. And it's over and out again. We're down to the last seven and a half minutes. Gripping contest in Wellington. Here's the inside 50s for the quarter. 13 to 4. The positive Brisbane though, they kicked two goals with those four entries. Stephen had that edge around the pack, the Saints. Really since half-time, but particularly in this last quarter as we, again we head downstairs, Baz? Yeah, look, the Saints need to take a few risks now. I know there's still seven minutes to go, but, you know, but both teams have got to try and win it and not try and hold, um, you know, try and save the game. So the Saints need to turn that in. They need to try and get the ball moving. I think I feel their uh, guns like Reigns has been in form. And Zorko, who haven't touched the ball yeah. so far, get the ball into the hands of uh, Taylor and Green. Get it inside Lester. 50. Oh, oh Zorko, he went with it. Trusts his instincts, kicks it deep to the square. Dempster's been doing that all night, and he's still doing it at he's, the death. He's played a great game. Oh, he goes short. It was laced with danger, but it comes off. Geary, better release it. Zorko is putting the pressure onto a big one-on-one -on, -one on the wing. Outnumbered out there was Jack Stephen. The line's ganging up. Adcock with a releasing kick. High ball, everyone's a chance. Geary, Dempster, they kill it, but it's not dead. Mays. Floating kick, what a kick from Mays! But it just stays on the wrong side. There's a goal in it now, Spud. He was uh, just the wrong side of the post. They're, they're out here if Montana can play on. Well, he can play on, but he was forced wide. And then back to Gwilt. So well played by the Lions. Good disciplines. Because the Saints are just about away. And switch it back to Dempster. Decides not to. Down the long to Stanley and Revolt. And it is Stanley. They got the handball off to Jones, who controls it now. Mind changing all the time. It's Savage. Can he kick a big one? He can't. It's a minor, but it'll be handy. Not as handy as a goal, I hope. Four eight inside fifties to Saints. Well that two or three running there, Spud. It could uh, yeah. easily have been a shared ball. Yeah. But it's easier said than done. Under pressure, sees the big goals, goes through. Everybody's happy. It's all their conversion. Adcock. In the hustle and bustle, Bruce brings it to ground. It's half a win there for Brisbane if they get a ball up here because it was a three-on-one, that long kick. A maze over it. Picky. Down to Jones. Tries to get it off to Hayes and then it's dislodged. Aish back to Brown. No free kick either way and it's over and out. So good resolute defending by the Brisbane Lions. Irrespective of the result for the Lions though, the form of Aish yep. has been uh, really heartening I think to all their supporters. Stephen for Hayes. He's got the line there. He's got Lions coming at him. So the inevitable result was another boundary throw in. Hickey's got merit, so he should be able to win the tap down here. No, merit does well. And the ball just, just comes gushing out the back. Great pickup from Ray, but the kick not as good. Stanley is really digging deep, putting the pressure on Clark, but he had some good help coming from behind. And the angle kick up from Garden, not perfect. Well done by Taylor. They still got to work hard though. Great they play, are. Lawrence. Cutler involved twice. Oh, the kick, half run down. It still falls for them. Green, plethora of options. Here's Robertson. He's on the cusp of the 50. He's crunched, mm. holding the ball. And Revolt decides to just go slow, which is oh, great yeah. pressure though. Well, it was really good play. If they can get it through, Montagna's in the goal square on his own. I know it's a long way from here. Tell you what, that was the best passage of play that the Lions have put together. Under pressure until that one, and maybe that's where the long kick just comes in. Yeah. 
look, under pressure, he's trying to look for something perfect, but you're right, Jared, top of the square, but he was under extreme pressure. So down the line, it. they've got some good tall timber here, and that's too easy, really, for Brisbane. As far as it's really so where the Brisbane go through the corridor at this stage of the game. So uh, Pat Fulton. up well, he's a killer. He's got to go along down the line. Jonathan Brown. Oh, oh didn't look good off the boot. It's in about row five. Apologies from Joel Patful. So Savage with Brisbane's lead, standing at five. Four minutes remaining. And eventually they've got to go forward. With time uh, so restricted now, they've got to take an option and go for the mark. They had all the tall timber, the Saints. Hickey flew. That's another ball up. Eighty-two the line, seventy-seven the Saints. Montagna, deep for Stanley, out of position, got himself into the right spot, and he'll be happy, I think, to take it over because they are right within striking range now. The Saints. Who's going to have the right mindset, the right determination, and importantly, make the right decision, and then be able to execute in the eleventh hour? Throw in. Tap down from Revolt. Ace. They've got some numbers. Reigns. Oh, swing and oh. a miss. Oh, it fell for Stephen. He misses two. And off Adcock. It's through for a minor score. Good Four points all around. now. Great smother. Let's have another look. This is a horrible moment for uh, Andrew Reigns, and he would have been absolutely delighted when he looked up and saw that one smother by a teammate. Oh, it's falls for Stanley again. Into the pocket. Tough kick. Gee, hasn't the smother been important in his last few minutes? Oh, the desperation for both teams. Curran's kick the time, as you said. Didn't hit the target. We are down to the last three minutes and ten. Had the handball option. Had to go sideways. Give it to a spare player. Hickey again. Lots of lines there. So there should be some extra saints back here. But it's Bruce versus Brown. So take a chance, he does, he keeps it bubbling for the Saints. Delaney got it over. Got to be desperate to get it on the other side of this ground, and down the middle he can go. And it's Gwilt, gets it deep. Stanley. Will it be Stanley again from the side, Padful? Anyone's footy still, red and hurried away Merritt. Element of a risk about the kick. Lewis Taylor, oh. slung. Opportunity for Jimmy Webster. Quick kick, Ray. Again, could go anywhere. Stephen can't get a handle on it. Wilts come sweeping through. Can anyone handle it cleanly? In the slippery slide that is Wellington's Westpac Stadium. We've got two minutes, 24 remaining. The head was down. Bit stiff there, I think the Saints. Ross. Hickey gets it through. Ross. Stephen with a releasing kick. Again, Stanley. Had to dig. But couldn't. And the ball is over and out. And they are defending for their lives, the Brisbane Lions, at the moment. Two minutes and 13, precarious position. They're hanging on to a four point lead. Boundary throw in. Who's going to have the energy to come charging through? Will it be a Saint? Will it be a Lion? Tap down from Merritt. Jones. Head over the ball. Stephen eager for it. Jones. And it's over and out again. About eight seconds white from the clock. No more. Still four points the difference. Jones has gone down. He's got the cramp. He has to force himself to get. He can't move. So they're one down the Saints. Throw in. Hickey. Onto the 50. Good. Slapped away Ray. The ball's been here for the last three minutes. Well, they've only got uh, 114 seconds to keep it there. And they'll be happy the Brisbane Lions. Their first win of the year. The Saints, well, they can uh, consolidate a spot in the eight with this win. Hickey slapped it down. Montagna couldn't get there. Aish been outstanding uh, in the second half. The second half. He's had 24 disposals for the game. 12 tackles. Sorry. Four tackles. Zorko, 12 tackles, sorry. A minute 47. And Redden did it well to Robertson, taking no chances. It's all one-on-one -on -one there. Well oh, done, oh, Delaney. Oh, yeah, Dex is cutting. Through the middle goes Bruce, cutting right across the outside. Webster, he takes them on two. Can he hit a target? Stanley's been brilliant. Ray over the back. Falls for Farron Ray. Oh, 
he's missed. He's missed. From dead in front. Opened up beautifully over the top. Look at the run over the back. Slipped off Stanley's hands. Fell beautifully for Farron Ray. Oh, well done, Daniel Merritt. It was actually Merritt. Daniel Merritt's frontal pressure that forced it. Because it would have been a smother if he kicked the ball straight. The last 70 seconds, the Saints have had some chances. But now it's the Lions' turn. See, that was smart. That was so smart. You don't get any credit for that. But that was one of the smartest things that Jonathan Brown has done for a long while. Just deflected it over the line. And so we have a throw in with a minute remaining. So oh, there's still kick. time. There's still plenty of time. Another opportunity for St Kilda. We're down to 55 seconds. They can't afford to waste another. Where's Rewalt? Is he? Oh, is oh. a free? Now oh, it's going to Brisbane. Well, they need an extra behind the ball here. Go in, mate, go in. The clock. Oh, that's 50. Oh, 50. Oh, Savage, that's inexcusable to throw the ball from that area. Well, He's that is just back. disastrous for St Kilda. Well, you've got the experience, Abcock. He just grabbed the man in yeah. front of him. Well, all he needs is a long one down the line and a boundary throw in. Don't go into the corridor. 40 seconds remaining. Adcock went to ground as he kicked. Oh, that's a powerful grab in the air and a big statement from Tom Hickey. Late to to in the game. 28 seconds. Brisbane knows all about how you can steal a game in the last throws, but that's not going to help. That's, well, now Gwil just has to kick it long, hoping that Revo can will himself onto the footy. It slides out the back. Geary. Patful went to ground. Oh, oh he's there drawn it is. a free. And that might be the telling free. They've had to travel to another country, the Brisbane Lions, to get their first victory of the season. And boy, did they have to work hard at the death. But they have held on to win by three points. 12 10 82 to 11 13 79 what could have been for the saints and what is for the lions despair for st kilda in the end they just couldn't take the opportunities that they worked to get for themselves danny frawley uh, well done to the brisbane lions of justin lebich he's He's worked hard in the first five weeks. He's finally got his first. He's made and win as a coach. And his young team learned from last Thursday week against the Richmond Football Club at their home ground. And they came over here. Not many people given the opportunity to win this game of football. The Saints had their best win of the season last week against Essendon. It just says they has got a, a long way to go and just the consistency of effort. The second half was good for the Saints. But when the game was there to be won, in the first half was Brisbane. And the last five minutes. Let's get down to Barry Hall. Yeah, here with John O'Brien. Well, what a win in the end.